The most extraordinary account to explain it is probably not the correct one. Is it an alien craft coming from a, or is there some natural phenomenon that requires a little further explanation? History is dotted with strange accounts of visitors from the great beyond, some as outlandish as shapeless entities floating in the atmosphere, while some go to the extent of saying that our Earth is constantly visited by flying saucer riding aliens, even though a whole lot of them might not be as accurate as you may think, interstellar objects have certainly been observed drifting about the solar system close to our home world. One such object of mystery is Yumuamua, nicknamed the Cosmic Needle. This peculiar space traveler has sent scientists into a frenzy of theories, puzzles, and debates, akin to a grand interstellar who'd done it. We're not really sure if it was an asteroid, an alien spaceship, or your average comet. The concern here is that there's nothing average about this interstellar object. The 400-meter-long object was first detected on October 19, 2017, by astronomers using the PANSTARRS-1 telescope in Hawaii. Fittingly, this interstellar object was given the name Aumuamua, or a messenger from afar arriving first. Quite poetic, you ask me. Before it arrived, no object from outside our local system had ever come this close. This visitor was incredibly fast and didn't follow the sun's gravity. Scientists found it fascinating because it looked like an asteroid, but acted like a comet. Described as having a cigar-shaped form, Oumuamua had a length 10 times greater than its width, making it an incredibly unusual space object. Initially classified as a comet, it lacked a coma, which is a comet's atmosphere formed by evaporating ice, leading NASA to reclassify it as an asteroid. However, that didn't really tell the whole story. During its exit from the solar system, Oumuamua unexpectedly gained speed, a phenomenon known as outgassing, typically associated with comets. To add further confusion, some astronomers speculate that Oumuamua may not be a comet or an asteroid, but rather a unique type of cosmic iceberg. Hopefully, one that doesn't collide with a spaceship named the Titanic. Jokes aside, Oumuamua is an unusual asteroid characterized by its dark red color and remarkably elongated shape. This metallic object has been studied numerous times and through subsequent observations conducted by observatories worldwide. It was discovered that this extraordinary object had journeyed across space for millions of years before fortunately encountering our star system. The trajectory of Oumuamua was not in line with the predicted path based solely on the sun's gravitational pull. Even though the deviation was small, less than 1%, it was still significant. The heat from the sun causes a comet's icy surface to evaporate and create thrust, which can alter their trajectory. If Oumuamua had experienced similar outgassing and lost at least a tenth of its mass, it should have developed a tail like a comet. However, no tail was studied and observations from the Spitzer telescope rule out the presence of certain molecules or dust around Oumuamua, except possibly pure water. Furthermore, outgassing would have affected Oumuamua's rotation period, but no such change was detected. Overall, Oumuamua didn't resemble a typical comet or asteroid, even though it represents a more abundant population than expected. Imagine a NASA image snapped on November 20, 2017. At the center, you've got Oumuamua, our mysterious guest. All around, faint stars streak across the image, leaving smeared trails as telescopes faithfully track the movement of the comet. The picture shows the interstellar asteroid Oumuamua, highlighted in blue, among dim stars. The telescopes followed the asteroid's movement, causing the stars to appear blurred in the image. This composite picture combines multiple views of Oumuamua, taken by the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope and the Gemini South Telescope in Chile. Scientists also mapped out a diagram with the suggested path that the interstellar asteroid Oumuamua takes as it travels through our solar system. Unlike other asteroids and comets we've observed, which are usually trapped in orbits by the sun's gravity, this peculiar space rock is not held by gravity. After its short visit to our star system, Oumuamua will eventually return to interstellar space. 
Another interesting graph that scientists put together displays Oumuamua's light curve, illustrating how the brightness of the interstellar asteroid changed over three days in October. The significant range of brightness, approximately a factor of 10 or 2.5 magnitudes, is a result of the elongated shape of the space rock. From this graph, astronomers clarified that Oumuamua rotates once every 7.3 hours, contributing to the variations in brightness. The colored dots on the graph represent measurements taken using various filters, which capture light across different parts of the visible and near-infrared spectrum. Another batch of images of Oumuamua were captured on October 27 by the 3.5-meter wind telescope on Kitt Peak in Arizona. These first images confirm that the object doesn't have a coma, the cloud of dust and gas that fizzes from a comet as it approaches the sun, and is therefore an irregularly shaped asteroid. With the images, trajectory graphs, and after understanding its motion, there's one question that still needs to be addressed. Do we really know where it came from? Well, Yumuamua has originated from a unique and significant frame of reference known as the Local Standard of Rest, or LSR. This frame of reference is determined by averaging the random movements of all nearby stars relative to the Sun. In this frame, only one out of every 500 stars moves at a speed comparable to Oumuamua, the LSR provides an advantageous environment for concealing the origins of an object and avoiding any specific association with a particular star. The movement of Oumuamua in relation to the Sun gives us insights into how the Sun moves compared to the LSR. Picture Oumuamua as a still boy on the ocean's surface while the solar system zooms like a fast ship crashing into the stationary buoy. This idea brings up the interesting possibility of having a network of buoys, like relay stations or road markers, that create a common reference point in space between different star systems. Most interstellar asteroids are expected to be separated from their parent star when they reside in the outer regions of their original planetary system, like our solar system's Oort cloud, which is about 100,000 times farther from the Sun than the Earth. Now. You might be wondering where Oumuamua could have originated from. One theory takes us to the outer regions of star systems. Out there, asteroids like Oumuamua are only loosely bound to the gravitational pull of their star. They can be easily displaced with a small push in velocity, less than one kilometer per second, and will then retain the speed of their host star relative to the LSR. If Oumuamua originated from a typical star, it must have been forcefully ejected with an abnormally high velocity kick. What makes it even more peculiar is that the kick would need to be precisely equal and opposite to the velocity of its parent star relative to the LSR, which is around 20 kilometers per second for a star similar to the Sun. The dynamic origin of Oumuamua is extremely rare, no matter how you analyze it, taking approximately 600,000 years. However, it didn't come from the same part of the sky as Vega at that time. About a hundred years ago, Yumuamua was approximately 83.9 billion kilometers or 52.1 billion miles away from the sun and moving at a speed of 26 kilometers per second relative to the sun. This speed is similar to the average motion of objects in the Milky Way near the sun and suggests that Umuamua came from a different part of our galaxy. We don't know exactly how long Oumuamua has been traveling through space. Our solar system might be the first planetary system it has encountered since being ejected from its original star system billions of years ago. Some theories suggest it might have been ejected from a nearby group of young stars called Carina or Columba about 45 million years ago. Another theory is that it might have originated from a system with a white dwarf star this could occur if the star lost its volatile materials during a period of expansion. There have been speculations about close encounters with other stars in the past, including one about 1.3 million years ago with the star TIC 4742-1027-1. However, its high velocity suggests that it didn't originate from that star system and likely just passed through. Recent studies have identified a few stars that Oumuamua passed relatively close to in the past few million years and predict future close encounters on its way out of the solar system. 
Scientists have proposed different scenarios for Oumuamua's origin. One possibility suggests that it could be a fragment from a tidally disrupted planet, making it a rare object compared to typical comets or asteroids. However, the shape inferred from its light curve doesn't align with this hypothesis. Another theory is that it belongs to a class of small bodies rich in H2 ice that form in freezing conditions in giant molecular clouds. However, it has been calculated that hydrogen icebergs cannot survive the journey through interstellar space. In October 2018, a scientist named Loeb submitted the idea that Oumuamua could be a thin solar sail, a device that uses solar radiation to propel itself. This was suggested to explain the object's unusual acceleration. However, other scientists believe that there is not enough evidence to support this theory and that a tumbling solar sail would not be able to accelerate. In response, Loeb listed six unique properties of Oumuamua that make it different from any comets or asteroids observed before. The Spitzer Space Telescope also found that Oumuamua is at least 10 times more reflective than a typical comet, which contradicts the idea of cometary activity. Many experts consider the solar sail hypothesis unlikely and believe that simpler explanations align better with the characteristics of interstellar asteroids and comets. Though these theories hold scientific prowess and propose Oumuamua's origins are definitely from a different part of the galaxy, we might never actually know its origins. However, there's not much to worry about, as scientific speculation is getting better and more accurate by the year. Moving on, there's one question that further arises. Where is it now? By January 2018, Oumuamua had become invisible to all telescopes, both on Earth and in space. It is currently estimated to be crossing Neptune's orbit on its way towards the Pegasus constellation. Astronomers will never again have the opportunity to study this extraordinary object, but will they be able to learn more? The discoveries of Oumuamua and Borisov, a relatively ordinary rogue comet in 2019, are the sole two interstellar objects that have been detected in our solar system. Since astronomers can't predict when the next interstellar object will appear or how long it will be visible, the Webb Telescope could get a team of experts who know both comets and asteroids to be ready for whatever the galaxy might throw at them. By utilizing Webb's potent imaging and spectrograph technology, astronomers who specialize in the study of asteroids and comets will acquire comprehensive data to ascertain whether a comet originates from interstellar space or our own solar system. Comets are primarily composed of three distinct types of ice, water, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide. The near-infrared spectrograph, commonly referred to as near-spec, is designed to analyze these ices as they undergo vaporization owing to the heat emanating from the sun, thereby providing valuable insights into the origin of the interstellar object in its original system. The presence of a significant amount of water indicates that the celestial body likely originated closer to its celestial companion, as other types of ice require warmer temperatures. The mid-infrared instrument, or MIRI, of Webb's research will be instrumental in determining the chemical makeup of the dust produced by these objects. The data collected by MIRI could help explain key theories about how oceans formed and how life came into our solar system. Comets are similar to ancient time capsules in space. They originate in the outer regions of star systems and are composed of ice, thereby preserving their geological history dating back to billions of years ago. However, asteroids are more likely to get hot and can melt or change shape. Even though it is believed that comets are more common among interstellar objects because they are frequently expelled, it is still possible for an asteroid to exist. Christina Thomas, a planetary scientist at Northern Arizona University and an expert in asteroids. Thomas is part of the team proposing the Webb mission and is particularly interested in studying the solid surface of potential interstellar asteroids using Webb's abilities. Thomas says that asteroids are not all the same. Unlike what many people think, they are extremely diverse in many ways. The ability to observe near and mid-infrared wavelengths of an asteroid will allow scientists to study its unique characteristics, such as silicates, mineral signatures, surface hydration, and composition. As 
Oumuamua, the cigar-shaped interstellar object, displayed asteroid-like traits. Thomas and her team used it as a test case to understand what Webb can reveal if another interstellar asteroid enters our galactic vicinity. Thomas says with Webb, we will have extensive observations across different wavelengths. This will provide us with valuable information about the object itself and allow for comprehensive comparisons. While we might assume that other systems have similar building blocks, actually seeing them will be truly exciting. So, what do you think? What really is Oumuamua? Where did it come from? Where is it going? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.